Filmmaker, director, and media consultant Niyi Akimolayo has released a 90 seconds animated video to help educate kids on the COVID 19 pandemic. He said the video is available in four languages to explain the lockdown and the pandemic to kids. Have a look. out my way. I'm going to play football with my friends and there's nothing you can't... Silence! You think this is funny, eh? You can get the deadly coronavirus. The gorilla virus? No, the coronavirus. Do you know what will happen when you do? Do you? Do you? Huh? What will happen? You will bring the coronavirus home and then infect everyone. Mommy will be sick, no more jollof rice. Huh? Daddy will be sick, no more going out to see movies. Oh no! Not the movies! No! Even worse, the government will come and take mommy and daddy away. Ah, uh, you're just making it up. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. See for yourself. <laughs> it's real! It's real! What should we do? Hmm. The coronavirus is out there. We should stay at home for now. Always wash our hands with soap and water so we can prevent it from spreading. Boo! Interesting. So joining Tea Time via Skype is the founder and creative director at Ant Hill Studios, Nii Akimolayo. Hello, Nii. Hi, good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Well, I'm fine. Catch okay. So. On morning behalf days. of Tea Time crew, we would like to say thank you for that video. But um, my question will be very simple. I know um, we can do the explanation for you, but we want to hear it from you. What inspired this um, animated video? Oh, okay. So um, I have a five-year-old kid. And uh, the moment, I mean, they're not used to staying at home and being locked at home for a very long time and not going to school. So when the lockdown happened, I'd been, you know, locking myself down like a week before the actual lockdown. And it was very important to explain to them why we were doing the lockdown, why nobody had to go out. And then he kept asking interesting questions, you know, that there is no coronavirus outside. What is the coronavirus and all that? So immediately we started thinking about what it means for children, you know, to... Um, see what a virus looks like and we thought about the big virus monster and we also thought about the fact that not having their parents around will be a major disaster uh, definitely if you don't have your mom around there is no food if you don't have your dad around there's nowhere to go to so we started thinking about it largely because I couldn't explain it to my, my son and I think every other thing just you know moved on from there hello Ni so Hi. um I saw this video first on my sister-in-law's page she has a three-year-old and a six-year-old and i was wondering oh, i didn't even know it was you so what has the feedback been like especially from parents oh it's been amazing i woke up this morning with pictures and videos and a lot of thank yous from parents but i, I think the one i uh, like reading the most is when they tell me that the kids start arguing with them which means it opens up a channel for discussion uh, with the parents. So the videos were not designed just to tell kids what to do. Most importantly, it was designed so that adults can also help have conversations um, with their kids uh, when it happens. And uh, aside that, it's, we, I, I get a lot of reports that it's been shared on diverse um, WhatsApp groups, which was really great because we did it in English, Yoruba, Hausa, uh, Igbo. So it's very rewarding if it can allow people to talk about the virus. And if you if you notice in the video, we're very serious about what the virus um, is. You know, it's dangerous, you know, out there and, you know, bad things can happen. I, I was very, very um, determined not to um, play it down at all. So, you know, it's, it, I think, I think it's doing exactly what I, we set it out to do. Hi, uh, I, I know that animations can 
be hard to do it's harder than shooting a film um can you just give us like an insight on what gathering the team like was and how long it took you to make this and then hopefully what you're trying to derive from this like in terms of marketing and making sure that you know it gets to as many people as possible all right so um yeah so animation is just another medium really it's not that it's harder than film or easier. Um, it has its pros, it has its cons. You know, it takes a lot more time to do. But I think the beautiful story here, which I really want to share with everyone, is that I haven't seen any of my staff for roughly four weeks now, face to face. Do you understand? We did the entire project just coordinating via WhatsApp groups, you know, uh, uh, um, Skype, and just, you know, transfers online. So that shows that animation is probably the only um, uh, uh, entertainment medium that can be done, you know, remotely, which coincidentally uh, we're using this uh, COVID lockdown to experiment with. So that's um, a story right there. In terms of what I want to do with the animation, it's two things really. Um, so right now I've been getting interest from um, Francophone countries and even East African countries. They're asking for permission to revoice it's in their language and we use, and I'm really, really happy that's happening. Um, in terms of reach also, it would be nice if we can, but I don't have money for that. If anybody wants to put it on YouTube as YouTube ads, so you know those ads that come up on YouTube before you watch. So what I've noticed is that every time my kids watch YouTube, there is some coronavirus Ad there, but it's usually you know from banks, you know, or like really serious stuff. But imagine if we direct the YouTube ad such that when they are watching all their kids' stuff and the unboxing videos and all that, boom, this video shows um, first. So that's something that we're looking at. And of course, you know, the work that you guys are doing, putting on TV, is also going to have a, a long time effect. So it's free. We're not selling it. It's important that we get the message um across at this time so it's it's community service really all right thank you ni for your time and okay. you basically answered all our questions so um we'll keep in touch and keep up the good work thank you thank you very much for having me.